first get to ear sketch you'll see a page that looks like this and what you want to do is you want to click on the start coding button so you click on the yellow start coding button that will log you into ear sketch if you want to save your work you can create an account and sign in um, you can see I'm already signed in this right here is your editor pane so this is where you're adding your um, code that's going to make your song when you have your code added in here what you do is you click on run and it's going to create your song um, up here in the digital audio workstation um, so when you have your song up here you can press on play to hear how it sounds Right. Um, over on the left navigation pane, you have your sounds button, which you can organize by artists, genres, instrument, or keys. Um, you also that's your sounds navigator. You also have your scripts. These are the songs or the code that you've already written. Um, and you have API, which is basically like the documentation of the different um, functions that you can call in ear sketch um, and I have my ear sketch uh, set to Python so now I'm gonna close these and I'm gonna click here for a new script I'm gonna call this hour of code and you can see I have it set to Python I recommend setting yours to Python as well so we can do it um, in the same language when you start a new sketch, you'll see it starts with a hashtag description. This hashtag means that that's a comment, meaning that the code will not run. It will just appear as text. Um, so it helps you document um, the code that you're making. This will be a description, a song about school. So your challenge today will be to write a song about school. The next is from the library ear sketch, we're going to import um, the whole library. So you just say import star, that'll import everything. Next, we're setting the tempo. Um, you can change this anywhere from like 60 to 220. Um, in fact, if you hover over some of the percussion, you can see that the original tempo of this one is 115. Um, let's check out Alicia Keys. Uh, this, the tempo is 90. So you can find an artist that you like. Um, let me look at Dakota Bear. The tempo is about 117. So uh, you pick this tempo that you want. Next up, we're going to put in a, another hashtag, and we're going to write sounds. And we are going to start off with a drum sound. So I'm going to write drum 1. I'm going to set that equal to. So in Python, if you um, use that equal sign, what I'm doing is I'm creating a variable and I'm assigning it a value. So the name of my variable will be drum1. And then what I have to do is I have to find a drum sound that's going to be the value of this variable. So to find a sound, I go over here to the left pane, to the navigation pane. And I'm going to click on sounds. And I'm going to look for artists. And I'm going to look an artist that I want to have some drums for. If you want to preview the drums, you can click on the play button. When you find the drum that you want, you can paste to the editor, and it will put that uh, drum in there, and I set it to drum one. Next up, we're going to do bass one. So I'm going to find a bass. I'll clear my filters. It will recommend some, so it'll recommend some bass that might 
uh, or recommend some so sounds that might fit with mine. I'm going to look for a bass, a good bass track. When you find one you like, you're just going to click on copy to um, the code editor, and you'll see that bass comes in there. Next, we're going to do one for vocals. And I'm going to find some vocals that I like. She was walking in the street, looked up and noticed he was nameless. She's riding in a taxi back to... They said I would never make it, but I was built to break the mold. When you find the vocals that you like, you're going to also copy it into the code editor. And then I'm going to create my intro. So again, I'm going to do a hashtag. I'm going to write my comment, which is intro. And then I'm going to use something, a uh, function called fit media. And you can see as I start typing it in, it will autofill for me. So you can type it all out, or you can click on the autofill to use that fit media. You'll see uh, fit media comes with four parameters. So I'll need a sound, a track, a start, and an end. Um, so the tracks will appear in the digital audio workstation, and the best way to think about it is just make another track for each sound. If you have tracks overlap, only one of those sounds will play. So for my sound, I'm going to start with my drum. I'm going to start with drum one. So I can write the name of my variable in there for the sound. For my track, I'm going to use one because this is going to be my first track. Um, for the start, I'm also going to use one because I'm going to start on the first measure of the song. And I'm going to end on, say, the 17th uh, measure. Uh, so the first one, the first start is inclusive and the end is exclusive, meaning it will play up to 16 measures. Um, so if you want to test it out to see how it looks, you can click on the run button. And you'll see your drum will show up here. Um, you can slide along to see it goes up to 16 measures. And if you want to hear how it sounds, you can click the play button up here. Next up, I'm going to do a fit media for my bass and my vocals. I did bass one, I did track two. I'm going to start maybe on the second measure, and I'm going to end on the 17th as well. And then for the vocals, I'll do another fit media. This will be track three. And I'll start on the third measure, and I'll end on maybe the fifth or sixth. Let me try, let's see what this looks like if I end on the seventh, if the vocal repeats. So to test it out, I'm going to click run up here, this green button in the top right of the code editor. Um, oh, I got an error down here. You can see it's a name error. There's an error with variable or function name that is not defined. So up in my sounds, I called it vocals1. And in my fit media, I called it vocal1 without the S. So just make sure you're paying close attention to the names you're using. Um, all those details will count, and you'll see my vocals showed up. It looks like it got cut off a little bit, though. Let's listen to it and see if it gets cut off. Yeah, so I want to extend that out a little bit. Let me see what it would be like if I went to the, the next measure, if I played the seventh measure as well. That looks like it will finish the vocals. Okay, so when you have your intro done, you can put your, um, your selector at the beginning of the digital audio workstation. You can press the green play button to hear your song.
break the mold. The only dream that I've been chasing is my own. All right. And we've made our first song. Um, so this is the first part of it. I want you to play around um, with these sounds and try to create an intro for your song. And I will do one more video about adding effects and um, extra features. <laughs> 